Soul, what is your take on the plasma apocalypse? Listen, guys, I do not want to detract or take away from any of this research of these other guys. Uh, like I said, I applaud out-of-the-box thinking. My problem is, is I have not had proper time to assess the data from these guys. I'm familiar that several of you believe that the Phoenix phenomenon, as I present it, is probably the same thing that J Dreamers has been has been releasing videos about. He just doesn't have the chronology or the historical details I have. He has more of the mechanics and physics about what's going on. We may be talking about the same thing. Now, the many of the Phoenix resets in history uh, could be referred to an, uh, by autodidactics material. I understand this. Many of you sent me emails about this. We may all be talking about the same thing, and I'm the one providing the actual chronology showing the chronographical materials when these things happen. I just didn't have all the data they had. You follow me? When it comes to Plasma Apocalypse, I cannot denigrate any other author. I can't say that he's, not, he's full of bullshit. He said, I don't know. We may be talking about the same thing. We're talking about something that appears in the sky holographically. I believe that hundreds of thousands of nodal apertures are in the sky and they are projectors and we have been told that they're called variable stars and they're not. They're holospheric projectors, nodal apertures between dimensions that bathe our holography in energies that we interpret as physical optical phenomena. This is what I believe. I don't believe at all in a solar system. I don't believe all those beliefs I used to have, I've had to shelve them because the acquisition of more data shows me how falsified our reality is. I can never go back. I can only move forward because I, I cannot compartmentalize my beliefs. I can't shelve anomalies to the side. I have to incorporate everything into my paradigm. This is, this is how I make so many discoveries and back them up with arithmetic because they do make sense from a holographic perspective. They do not make sense in a Newtonian universe. So these guys talking about this plasma apocalypse and all that may be talking about the exact same thing I am. I'm just using the ancient monikers. It was in ancient times called the Fink, the Fenris, the Fing, the Noth, Neph, and Phoenix. All these civilizations had a name for it. These guys are calling it something else, and that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Phoenix causes resets over and over and over, so we have some value in those guys that are documenting all these weird resets. Now, in modern times, there's been some stigma with this, like the particular attachment to one single culture from antiquity called Tartaria. Tartaria is from Tartar. It means the far west. I've done research on, on Tartary. I've done research on the ancestry of Tartary, on, on the Huns, and on, on the Eastern Europeans and how they had come, come by way of the Black Sea, many of the migrations coming straight out the Near East. To me, it's not very mysterious. I understand how the Bolsheviks rewrote history and burned thousands of books, libraries, and, and rewrote a lot of the histories of these people. Do I believe Tartaria was the entire world? Hell no. Do I believe there was a Tartaria that was significantly advanced and may have been technologically advanced and then reset maybe more than once? Hell yeah, I do. But I also believe that other civilizations have suffered the exact same fate. So I can't, I, I need time to be able to assess that data. I just haven't been able to look at these guys' channels and, and to, to see if we're all talking about the same thing. We probably are just from multiple different vantage points. I don't know. I don't know. That requires some, some looking into.